Kenya in determined mood. Yeah, the breakthrough from the man, Colin Tejera. And there is it is. Oh, 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 congratulations. Where did he have that pen? The penalty allows Njera to go for the quick one now. Can there be a bright spot? Njera! Well, what a moment! He's Max Santiago Gomez Corres, try scoring record. One more and he'll take the lead. Njera, it's opened up for it. Typical Njera gives the pass. Collins Njera, born on October 18, 1986, is a renowned ex Kenyan rugby player. He holds the runner-up spot for tries scored in the World Rugby 7 Series, having found the try line 279 times. He has established himself as an achiever in the Kenyan National Rugby 7s team, being the leading African try scorer and possessing the second highest number of tries 279 scored in the World Rugby 7s Series. He has truly made his mark. Injira was among a select group of athletes from across the world to have taken part in both the 2016 and 2020 Olympics when he represented Kenya in Rugby Sevens at the Tokyo Games that took place between July and August 2021. Collins Injira, who was born in Nairobi and raised in Eldoret, led a remarkable life since childhood. He wasn't your typical youth. Injira's family considered him a cheerful and extraordinary child who always gave his best effort to whatever he set out to do. Collins and Jira had never dreamed of becoming a rugby player when he started, but today he is renowned for his astounding rugby abilities and accomplishments. Collins' life was mainly focused on school and taking up challenging courses like medicine as his father, an immunologist, had set the bar high and his older siblings had followed in his footsteps. Chebet is the lucky person married to him, and their three kids are the examples of their successful marriage. His recognition as one of Kenya's top 40 men under 40 in 2019 gained him more popularity, and today his fame has grown even further as he is counted among the 10 most followed Kenyan sports people on social media. It was during his high school years in 2001 that Collins discovered his passion for rugby. He joined the sport by chance as part of his co-curricular activities, which all students were expected to take part in. My first choice was football, he said. Injira says a crowd had formed on the football field. It was as though every Form 1 student wanted to try their luck in the sport. Since he was not good with big crowds, he left the football pitch. As I was departing, I noticed a group of boys playing with an oval-shaped ball over by the other side of the field. They eagerly invited me to join them and it only took one try for me to be completely enthralled by the game. He became so wrapped up in the sport that he started to notice a decline in his academic performance, he remembered. When he was at Vihiga High School, Injira began his rugby career. After graduating in 2005, he played for military side Ulinzi RFC in the Kenya Cup League. Sadly, the team eventually disbanded and Injira had to switch clubs, this time joining Mwamba RFC in Nairobi where he took on the role of wingman. Injira kicked off his career with the Kenya National Rugby Sevens team at the 2006 Dubai Sevens tournament. He was also part of the squad at the 2009 Rugby World Cup Sevens competition, which saw Kenya reach the semi-final round. He achieved another milestone by becoming the top try scorer for 2008-2009 Sevens World Series season with a total of 42 tries. Injira was the runner-up in the individual points table, scoring 210 points. He has also represented Kenya in 15 seconds rugby union matches at the 2011 World Cup qualifiers, playing as a left wing at number 11. Back in 2013, Injira's contract with the National Sevens team was revoked by head coach Mike Friday after a dispute between his club Mwamba RFC and the Kenya National Sevens team. This caused Injira to be relieved of duty from the National Sevens team. Injira had a conflict that caused him to miss their training sessions and violate his contract. As a result, his contract was terminated but in 2022 he was selected to be part of the Kenyan squad to play in the Rugby World Cup Sevens in Cape Town. In January 2023, he announced his decision to retire from the game of rugby. It's out with Collins and Jira, chased by Chris Kinlock. Collins and Jira, what a wonderful run to start. And let's check the clocks. Yes, it is. They need quick hands. Out it goes. Nobody in front of Collins and Jira. He scores the try that just might cause another major upset. And here, meanwhile, is a breakout by Collins and Jira. And Jira was nominated for the 2008-2009 IRB Sevens Player of the Year Award, which Ollie Phillips ultimately won. And Jira earned the Kenyan Sportsman of the Year title in 2009. 
for their efforts in the 2008-2009 IRB7s World Series. Injira and his brother Humphrey Kayons received the Presidential Order of Golden Warriors in 2010. Collins was awarded Player of the Final at the 2016 Singapore Sevens after helping Kenya win their first match in the World Sevens Series. Kenya in determined mood. Here, yeah, the breakthrough from the man Collins and Jenna. And there is another chance to come up to halfway. A lovely round by Injira. He delays and Carla Niles tries to get him, but Kenya begin out of their trees at the moment. And so Abonda goes looking for... The rugby player's 200th try was scored in the World 7 Series in London in 2015. An overjoyed Injira pulled out a marker pen and autographed a camera lens after the team defeated Japan 24-12. Collins claims that he was never asked to pay for the camera lens, which was estimated to cost 9.7 million Kenya shillings, despite the media having a field day with his autograph. This is going to be the moment where Collins and Jira scores his 200th try in a Kenyan jersey, and he's signing the ball. Look at this! <laughs> this is so brilliant! Oh. President M.Y. Kabaki honored Njira and his brother Humphrey Kayenge with the Order of Grand Warrior of Kenya in 2010 for their accomplishments in the 2008-2009 IRB Sevens World Series. Njira, a UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador, won the Player of the Final Award at the Singapore Sevens in 2016 after helping Kenya win their first World Sevens Series match and became an Olympian when rugby was reinstated at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. The try scoring wizard, Injira! Injira! Incredible! Collins Injira, Kenya's all time leading try scorer, announced his retirement from rugby in January 2023. With 271 touchdowns, he trails only Britain's Dan Norton in the Rugby Sevens World Series try scoring rankings. Injira stated in a statement, I have always claimed that I will know it's time because my body will tell me. It has been speaking to me for the past few months, so I've finally made the decision to pay attention. His victory in the Singapore leg of the World 7 Series in 2016, where he was awarded player of the final as Kenya defeated Fiji 30-7, was the pinnacle of his professional career. Injira stated, For the following chapter, I will continue with my humanitarian efforts, and he also claimed he would spend more time with his family. Collins and Jira, a star at the Kenya Sevens, called being inducted into the Sigatoka, Fiji, Rugby Town Walk of Fame a humble event. The Rugby Town Walk of Fame was established in 2011 as a special recognition for some of the greatest rugby players who have contributed to the game's evolution. Injira, who became the 12th person to receive recognition in Sigatoka, a prominent rugby playing town in Fiji, is the second African athlete to receive such recognition after Brian Habana of South Africa. With 271 tries, he ranks second in the World 7 Series in terms of try scoring and is the all-time leading try scorer for Kenya. Humphrey, Injira's older brother, was the first Kenyan elected into the World Rugby Hall of Fame. The brothers competed for Kenya's historic World Rugby Sevens Series winning Kenya Sevens side in 2016, which won the Singapore Sevens Championship. Injira declared that receiving recognition more than 15,200 kilometers from home was the best thrill of his rugby career. The world's top Rugby Sevens nation won the award, not just another rugby honor from another country. Only in athletics do Kenyans receive recognition abroad, according to Injira. This one feels special, said Injira. Also inducted was Fijian legend Noah Nadruku, 
who rose to fame in the 1990s before playing for the Canberra Raiders in Australia's National Rugby League. According to Injira, he is still in disbelief over the welcome he received throughout the villages of Sigatoka. I got the impression that Kenyan rugby enthusiasts are less numerous than I had assumed. The fact that they all knew me amazed me. I now perceive Fiji differently than I previously did, it completely blew my mind, he remarked. The only team to be honored on the Rugby Town Walk of Fame is Fiji, the gold medalist at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio. Since 2011, several individuals have received honors, including the late iconic New Zealand All Black Joan alum, the legendary Fijian Wazale Serevi, the former Argentina international Ben Collings, and the former All Blacks captain Derek Jamie.